Hi guys, my name is Minhajuddin Ansari and you're watching the 41st tutorial on C programming and today I will be talking about the three character input functions. The getchar function, the getch function and the getche function. So first I'm going to talk about the getchar function. So the getchar function is buffered and it echoes. So what does that mean? The getchar function is buffered. That means as soon as you press a character from your keyboard, that character gets stored inside the buffer. And we already talked about buffers in our previous tutorial. So that character gets stored inside the buffer. But as soon as you press the enter key, then the character is transferred from the buffer into your program's variable. So this is why the getchar function is buffered. Now second, the getchar function echoes. What does that mean? This means that as soon as you press a character from your keyboard, that character is sent to the output stream and it is displayed in the output screen. So let me give you an example. I'm going to define my character variable a and I'm going to make a is equal to get char. That's it. So when I run the program, the get char function will wait for me to enter a character from the keyboard. So as soon as I press a character from your keyboard, this right here, this is echoing because I'm not using any printf statement, but still it is displaying it in the output screen. So this is echoing and also this character has now been stored inside the buffer. This, this character hasn't been stored inside the character variable a yet. It has been stored inside the buffer, but as soon as I press the enter key, then this character will be stored inside the character variable a. So this is the get chart function. In the end, let me just add a printf statement and I'm going to print the character variable a. So now when I run the program, so first of all, as soon as I press a character a from the keyboard, this will be displayed in the output screen. This is echoing and this is also stored inside the buffer. But as soon as I press the enter key, now it has been stored inside the character variable a and the printf statement prints the character variable a. So this is the get char function. Now the second function is the get ch function. And the get ch function does not echo and it is also unbuffered. That means it does not buffer as well. So first of all, let me remove this printf statement right here and show you what I mean. So as soon as I run the program, the getch function will wait for me to press a key from the keyboard, to press a character from the keyboard. So let me press the character A. Now, as soon as I press the character A, I've pressed it. I just pressed it right now, but this time it did not echo. That means the character A, which I've just pressed right now, it was not displayed in the output screen. So this is what, uh, this is why the getch function does not echo. And the getch function is also unbuffered. That means as soon as I press the character A from my keyboard, it will be stored directly into the program's variables. It will not be transferred into the buffer, unlike the getchar function. So this is the getch function. And again, I'm going to use, just write my printf statement and I'm going to print the value of the variable a just to show you that the character was stored inside the variable a. So again, I'm going to press the character a from my keyboard. And now this is not the echo. This is not echo. This is actually the printf statement printing the character variable a. So this is the get ch function. And finally, I'm going to talk about the get che function. Now the get che function, the e in the end, this means that the get ch, this function echoes. So this function echoes, but the get che function is unbuffered. That means as soon as you press a character from the keyboard, it will be stored directly into your program's variable, but at the same time, it will also be echoed. That means it will also be displayed in your output screen. So first of all, I'm going to remove the printf statement just to show you the, the echo phenomena. So now, as soon as I press a character A from the keyboard, this is echoing. I'm not printing anything. I'm not using the printf statement. This is simply the character A being displayed in the output screen due to the echoing of the character A. And now I'm going to uh, write the printf statement percentage C and uh, I'm going to print the character variable A. <clears throat> so as soon as I run the program, first of all, 
this uh, as soon as I press the character A from the keyboard first of all it would be echoed but since this function is not buffered that means I will not have to press the enter key it will automatically be sent into the program's variables and the printf statement will automatically print the character variable A so look what happens there are two A's why the first A is the echo and the second A is the printf statement printing the character variable A and since it is not buffer that means I did not press the enter key I did not press the enter key it just it just echoed and it just directly displayed the uh, character which I inputted from my keyboard it stored it into the program variable which is the character variable A and the printf statement simply printed the character variable A so this right here is unbuffered but it echoes so this is all it about the get char get ch and get che functions and in the end if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section and now you might you might have guessed why i always use the get ch function at the end so i already discussed that in my first tutorial or maybe in my second tutorial but now i think you guys know why i write this function right here so this is all it about the three character input functions if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section and thanks for watching this video